Hey third grade, I'm back with another lesson today and we're doing second step lesson number eight and it's about accepting differences. All right, so we're gonna continue second step lessons and we're gonna be doing them every week. So last time you learned a skill for learning called conflicting feelings. This week we're gonna discuss accepting differences. All right, we're gonna review the skills for learning before we get started. So ready, here we go. Focus your attention. Listen, be assertive, ignore distractions, and use self-talk. Okay, guys? Alrighty. Okay, so we're going to play a game called Common Ground. And I'm going to fix this really quick for us. Just a second. Oops. Okay, so if you're in person, you can stand and face a partner next to you. Um, and make sure this you have a space between you and your partner, and that's your common ground. When you jump to it, it means you found something in common. And virtual, if you're at home, we're just going to use our hands, okay? So we're going to play common ground. You and your partner are going to learn ways you're alike and similar and ways you're different. If you're at home or virtual, you are my partner, okay? And I'm your partner. So we're going to practice the steps slowly. And you're going to use your skills for learning. So remember, that means good listening, good good um, watching, and good listening, okay? So, and you're going to, um, we're going to, yep, we just went over our skills for learning, and we're going to read the question out loud, and you're going to show a thumbs up or thumbs down. And if you're in person, you guys can jump together, remember? And that's your common ground, okay? So here we go. We're going to go to the questions. All right, so here's our questions. Do you like eating fish? Thumbs up or thumbs down? If you and your partner both like eating fish, you're going to jump up. If you both don't like eating fish, that's okay. Okay, what about studying science? Thumbs up or thumbs down? I'm going to put thumbs up because I really enjoy studying science. Okay, and remember, if you and your partner both like it, you can jump up together. Okay, okay. Building models. I'm going to say no. That's not something that I like to do, but maybe it's something you like to do, and that's okay. Going on field trips. I love going on field trips. Okay. Climbing ropes. No. Okay. All right. So raise your hand if you and your partner found several ways that you're alike. And you know what? I did this with Miss Stalwick, and Miss Stalwick and I are a lot alike. We like a lot of the same things. So it seems like you guys may have found a lot of common ground. And so I want you to think about the ways that you are similar and different. And then I want you to remember them today for today's skill practice. Okay, guys? All right. All right, so now we're ready for the story and the discussion. Okay, so... Let's learn about two students who find something they have in common and learn to accept their differences. Here are Yaz Yazaman and Olivia. Yazaman recently joined Olivia's third grade class. Okay, I want you to look at this photo and think about ways that Olivia and Yazaman appear different. And I'm going to let you guys think for about 10 seconds. How are they different? If you think that they're different because of their clothing, I want you to touch your clothes. Very good. If you think they're different because of their ethnicity, which means their skin tone or possibly where they're from, I want you to touch your skin. Good job, you guys. Yasaman comes from Iran. She wears different clothing from Olivia. English is not her first language. Sometimes Olivia, Olivia laughs when other students tease Yasaman for being different. Is that good? No. Why would some students laugh at Yasaman? Why do you guys think that? Maybe you can turn and talk to a neighbor for a second or think about it for a minute. Why would they laugh? They would laugh because maybe she's different. They don't understand how she acts. They don't consider how she feels. How do you think Yasaman feels when students tease or laugh at her? Can you guys show me your face? How do you think her face looks when people tease or laugh at her? 
Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of sad faces. She feels sad, hurt, embarrassed. Teasing or laughing at someone because of how he or she is different is not respectful. So I want us to look at the photo again and think about how the girls are similar this time. So that means how are they the same? So I want you guys to think about it for a second. Maybe turn and talk to your neighbor about how you think that they are similar if you are in person. If you're virtual, just think about it for a second. So they are both girls. They're both third graders. They're doing art. If you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. Does it look like they're both enjoying art? Yeah. So Olivia notices that Yasaman is really focused on her art project. Olivia also enjoys doing art and she's interested in learning how to make the designs Yasaman is making. Okay, I'm wondering if we can think about how Olivia could get to know Yasaman better. If you agree with me, give me a thumbs up. She could comment on her designs, ask to learn or how to draw the designs, invite her to play at recess. Olivia decides to be assertive and comment on her designs. Yasaman explains that they are traditional designs from Iran. She teaches Olivia how to make one. Later, they play together at recess, and Yasaman and Olivia are becoming friends. So let's think about what Olivia could say to the other students at school if they tease or laugh at Yasaman. Guys, this is so important because remember, if you see somebody getting teased or hurt, that means, and you don't do anything about it, that means you're a bystander. So what could she say or do? Think about it for a second. What could she say or do if people are teasing her? So she could say teasing hurts people. It's against the rules. People deserve to be treated with respect. Think about how you'd feel if we laughed at you. What can help Olivia and the other students feel or understand how Yasaman might be feeling? What do you guys think? The, it starts with an E. I'm going to see if you can say it with me. Empathy. Yes, empathy. Imagine being her. Remember why they're, they're teased. Having empathy helps you under things from understand things from someone else's perspective. This helps you accept and appreciate others' differences. Accepting people's differences is respectful. So we're going to listen to the empathy song, and we're going to show a thumbs up every time you hear what empathy means, okay? All right, here we go, guys. Oh, empathy means feeling what others feel. You've got to do 
Hey, you guys, that was so fun. All right, now we're gonna go to the next, oops, we're gonna go to the next one. So um, now we're gonna do an activity and we're gonna review the skills that we've learned so far. Today's activity will help you get to know your partner or your people in your class better. Knowing people better helps you accept and appreciate their differences. So think about the ways you've learned um, that you and your partner or class, if virtual, were similar and different during today's brain builder. So what I've noticed about Miss Dalwick and I is that I like chocolate a lot more than she does, but we both like coffee. So it's fun to learn what you guys like and maybe are different. So think about something you'd like to learn from your partner or other classmates in the class and like how Olivia wanted to learn how to make designs from Yazaman. The more you know someone, the more you can appreciate that person as an individual. Okay? All right, so I want you guys to try this at recess, lunch, with when you're with friends or family. So I want you to try to find three similarities between you and another person, two differences between you and another person, and one thing you'd like to learn about the other person. So I'll tell you about mine. So I actually have a best friend, and her name is Stephanie, and she and I are very different but we get along so well and we're best friends. So three things that we love to do together is the three similarities that we love to shop together. We love to go on Instagram and follow Instagram influencers and bloggers. It's so fun for us. And we love Mexican food, okay? And then um, also the two differences between Stephanie and I is one of them is that she's from Corpus Christi and I'm from here. I'm from Round Rock. And another difference is that she has brown hair and brown eyes and I have blonde hair and hazel blue green eyes. And then one thing that I'd like to learn from her more is that she is so good at talking to people and making friends. And I love to talk to people and make friends. So I wanna learn about that more from her, okay? All right, so today you learned about noticing similarities and differences and accepting people's differences. And accepting differences shows respect, right? What, what can help you understand another person's perspective? And we're going to say it together. Empathy, right? Having empathy and showing respect help you get, helps you get along with others, okay? All right, so we're going to review the empathy poster. Okay, so say it with me. Empathy is feeling or understanding what someone else is feeling. You can look at their face and body for clues. You can figure out what their point of view is. How does she feel? How can I help? What is a kind thing to say? And also, we're going to end our lesson with a book, one of my favorites. It's called All Are Welcome by Alexandra Penfold and Suzanne Kaufman. Okay, and so we're actually going to listen to this today because we have time. All right, here we go. Welcome to Brightly Storytime. I'm Miss Linda. At ReadBrightly.com, you can sign up to get reading tips, book recommendations, and videos like these delivered to your email inbox. Today, we're going to read a story about kindness, inclusivity, and diversity. It's called All Are Welcome by Alexandra Penfold and Suzanne Kaufman. Pencils sharpened in their case. Bells are ringing. Let's make haste. School's beginning. Dreams to chase. All are welcome here. No matter how you start your day, what you wear when you play, or if you come from far away, all are welcome here. In our classroom, safe and sound, fears are lost and, and hope, hope is, is found. found. Raise, Raise your, your hand. hand We'll go around. All are welcome here. Gather now. Let's all take part. We'll play, play music. music. We'll, we'll make, make art. art. 
We'll share stories from the heart. All are welcome here. Time for lunch. What a spread. A dozen different kinds of bread. Pass, Pass it around, around till, till everyone's, everyone's fed. All are welcome here. Open doors, rush outside. We will swing, we will slide. We'll, we'll have, have fun, fun side by side. side. All are welcome here. We are part of a community. Our strength is our diversity. A, a shelter, shelter from, from adversity. adversity. All are welcome here. We will learn from each other. Special talents we'll uncover. There's, There's a, a big, big world, world to, to discover. discover. All are welcome here. So much to learn. So much to do. And when the busy day is through, can't wait to come back, start anew. All are welcome here. Head for home to get some rest and greet tomorrow, ready and fresh. Our, Our time, time together, together is the best. All are welcome here. You have a place here. You have a space here. You are welcome here. What, what can, can you, you do, do to make someone, someone different, different than you feel welcome? Maybe, Maybe you, you can, can play, play a game together, together or, or share, share some, some food, food or, or ask, ask them, them about their, their special talents. talents. Who knows? If you are kind and welcoming, they might be your new best friend. Come back to read more stories together anytime you'd like, or find more books to read yourself at readbrightly.com. Okay, guys, I will see you next time for another lesson.